hello friends so in this video i'll tell you uh, how to use tiny mc editor okay so suppose i have taken uh, a simple sentence okay and then i'll be styling it using tiny mc editor so first of all uh, we'll see the power of uh, grammarly extension which i have already told you uh, because uh, it helps us you know rectifying silly mistakes and uh, typos and also grammatical mistakes so suppose i have written this sentence as you can see and there is a mistake like uh, it has already underlined it and then when we click on this it will be uh, able to tell us like uh, what is the mistake so once we click on that the mistakes will go and also on the first uh, word there is a mistake so obviously we'll click on that and then the mistakes will go so definitely you need to use uh, tiny uh, um, grammarly extension so, so that we can uh, rectify our mistakes so so first of all i'll tell you uh, how to add uh, headings and all okay so suppose this is heading one okay and then what you can do is you can select this text or you can just put your cursor over here and then go to this uh, option and then choose like which option you need so suppose if i'll be clicking on heading one so this will automatically become heading one okay so uh, again some mistakes so i'll click on this hello the world okay now uh, this was one of the thing that we'll be uh, using quite often now uh, uh, using headings in our uh, post okay now suppose if i want to uh, bold this thing so if I'll, I'll select the text and then i'll click on b so it will bold me the text okay and suppose if i uh, un want to undo the operation then i can select again and then i can click again on this so it will undo my operation okay similarly you can choose italic or a strike through like it will cut the uh, word so just see uh, okay this was for italic so similarly i can do a strike through and it will strike through like it will cut the word in half similarly i can choose the uh, foreground color like the text color so i'll click on this and then my text color will become red suppose i want to give a background color to this word okay so i can click on this and i can choose whichever color i want so i'll be giving it like uh, light gray and then you can see like the color has become light gray i'll just choose some uh, bright color so see yellow uh, it has become yellow color okay so now i want to add some extra link like suppose you have written an article and then extra link has to be added for further reference so you can click on this and then you can put the url whichever you want to dis um, add like suppose you, i want to add https wikipedia.com right and then what text needs to be shown like uh, that will act as a substitute so suppose i'll write as wikipedia okay and that's all uh, we need to show only this thing and then we can click on save and then you can see like a link has been added where the text that is shown is wikipedia okay and then once the people click on this link uh, he, he or she will be reacted to wikipedia now again you can add video lectures like uh, youtube videos so for that what you have to do is you have to click on this icon and then you have to provide the uh, source of that video like you can take the youtube's video link or the embed link from youtube and paste over here and then automatically that video will be embedded in our post okay so now uh, there are more things uh, one is like suppose you want to see like how the post looks so you can go on to the file menu option and then click on preview and then you can see this is the post that will be shown to users okay similarly you can also see the you can also paste the content from your microsoft word like suppose you have written an article in microsoft word so you can go to the edit option okay and then you can go into the paste option and then uh, you can um, do like control c control v control v okay uh, see there is a pop-up message like uh, this doesn't support so you can directly do control v from your um, keyboard similarly you can insert more link uh, more links and uh, like suppose if i want to add a horizontal line okay so i can go into insert option and then i can click on horizontal line and then a line will be automatically added to this similarly there are more tools like you can see the source code like what is the source code that is displaying this content so you can click on source code 
okay and then see this is the source code this is pure html so you can you will be able to see the html and you can also change suppose uh, this is h1 right so i can write heading 2 and in the main content part it will be changed to heading 2 so you can if you know html you can uh, play with tools part 2 okay similarly if you want to add the tables you can go into table section okay you can choose what will be the dimension of your table like 2 into 2 and then you will get two rows and two columns table right and then you can add more uh, you can just hover on the things to know like what it is so suppose if you want to delete this table you can click on this if you want to add uh, one more row you can add this similarly you can uh, add one row after and other options right and uh, suppose if you want to add um, list okay list of items so either you can add numbered list or you can add bullet list so suppose i want to add bullet bullet list so this will be like list one and this will be list two and similarly so you can also add numbered list right and then suppose uh, i have this content right and i want to align this in center so i'll select this content and i'll go into aligning field okay and this will be like justify and then it will be uh, sorry this will be like um, center thing so you can click on this and it will be aligned into center so to know like what this option is you can just hover on the options and it will show you like what it is so this is for insert or edit media this is for aligning to left this is for aligning to right and other options so you can play with all these things and then like within two to three articles you will get used to it okay and once you have done everything either you can uh, save your article as a draft or you can directly publish it and then there are some helpful uh, tweaks over here you can go through this you can click on the images to see the enlarged view and then you, you can keep on writing so that is like very simple and one more thing that i want to add is uh, you, you can upload images into your post by clicking on the upload image button by, and choosing the image from your um, uh, local computer and then click on upload once the suppose i'll show you an image suppose i'm uploading this image and then i'll put on click on upload and then once the image is uploaded uh, my internet is slow so you'll get the link okay so you've got the link and then you can come into here and then you can click on the insert or edit image option and then you can add source like what will be your uh, link and then you can uh, do on save thing and then you'll get the image as this thing and then you can align it in uh, center left or right or even justify so that is up to you so i hope like uh, you are aware of uh, every tool over here you can play with it because uh, i don't know whether you have understood everything or not but once you played with it and you once you published one or two articles you'll get to you'll get used to it so that's all for this one uh, if you have any doubt you can uh, post down uh, in the comment section i'll help you